So I started with a black plastic container uh, and I'm going to pour a little bit of this into some hot water and then I'm going to kind of stir it around a little bit just to make sure that it is nice and blended. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you have a couple of wooden hoops, um, some skewers, popsicle sticks, and some wood beads. I have various sizes but I'm probably going to be using one of these. So now I'm going to be taking all of my wood pieces and I'm going to be dipping them into the dye and kind of making sure that they're fully coated. You don't really need to let this soak for very long because especially in unfinished wood, it just really soaks up the dye really quickly. Um, so you just submerge it for just a couple of moments and then um, take them out and let them dry on their own. So next up, I'm just throwing my wood beads in there and just submerging them for a moment or two. Last on my list was to submerge my popsicle sticks and the skewers for this project to make sure that everything was cohesive, everything was the same color, um, like the wood beads and um, everything else in this project, these do not take a long time to really absorb the color. You just need to make sure you're giving yourself ample time to allow these items to dry once you take them out of the dye. Once I took everything out of the dye, I actually used a cookie sheet to allow all of these items to dry before I use them for this project. So now we're going to take our hoops um, that are dry and have been officially dyed and our popsicle sticks with a glue gun and we are going to attach it to the hoops. So what I'm going to do first, I'll set one aside, um, we're going to start by adding a drop of glue to the inside of the hoop and then we're going to attach the popsicle stick. These glue sticks are, I think, a one minute set time, so just make sure that it's pretty secure before you move on to the next one. Um, and we're going to evenly space these out around the inner circumference of our hoop. So we're going to kind of figure out, like I want to eyeball where it's going to go next. So next we're going to be cutting down our skewers. I want them to be the length of my popsicle sticks. So I'm going to just take a extra popsicle stick that I'm probably not going to use as kind of my guide. We're going to line it up next to the skewer. And I'm just taking some clippers. You can use scissors if you'd like. These are just pliers to cut multiple skewers to be the same length. Okay, so now that my skewers have been cut, I'm going to actually be taking my beads and we're going to be stringing them on in like a decorative way onto these skewers. So it is important to make sure that your skewers can go through the holes of the beads. So I recommend testing that out before you even start this project. Um, so we're gonna take a little bit of hot glue and we're gonna put it on the tip of the bead and then we're gonna slide it through um, and add like some decoration and make them all a little bit different. I'm gonna add one more and I'm having a little more success adding this to the skewer itself instead of adding it to the bead just at the point where I want it to stop. So we've got one and we're going to keep doing these. So now my beads have been strung onto my skewers. So we are going to focus on attaching these to here. But first, I'm going to go ahead and finish this step because I feel like it's going to be a little more secure to attach our skewers once this part has been uh, secured. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little piece of, I'm going to do a little bit of hot glue on these pieces just to get us started. I'm gonna make sure these are all on the inside. And these little popsicle sticks are very pliable, so um, it's pretty easy to, essentially when you go to glue them, to just push it back a little bit to add the little dollop of hot glue. Okay, so now we are gonna go in and we are gonna attach our skewers to each uh, end of the hoop. Okay, and we're going to go all the way around. I'm going to go from the three beads to the two beads. So I want to create kind of a fun pattern. And so essentially, we're just going to go all the way around on these little inner parts, these pieces in between our popsicle sticks. And we're going to glue and secure these skewers um, in those places. All right, so now we're going to let this all uh, just dry and I'm going to kind of work on getting rid of some of the strings before we move on to our next step. So next we are going to set this aside and we're going to take some twine. 
Um, I put a little bit of painter's tape on the end of my twine just to help make this step easier. But essentially I want to kind of measure out how, um, how long I want my twine to be. So I kind of want it to dangle down a little bit. So I'm gonna cut it here. I'm gonna cut it a little longer because I'm gonna be tying a knot. So I'm gonna double knot this. Now I'm going to take more of my beads that I dyed with my Rit dye. And I've got a couple different sizes here, so I'm gonna kind of go back and forth between a couple different sizes. But we're gonna start with a smaller one. And we're just gonna thread this entire strand with these beads. And then we'll move on to the next step. So I took a piece of cardboard and I cut um, the bottom of my little tea light holder and we're going to use some hot glue to attach it. Now I know that I have some text on this side. If you wanted to do this project and you had the same issue, you could definitely paint it, which I think I might. We're going to paint this piece. Um, but because we were working with brown anyways, I didn't really feel the need to like paint the underside that's actually going to be shown. We're going to use this bead garden and we're going to attach it to the top. I'm going to put some hot glue. So we're going to let that dry and then we'll be back with our finished product. I was so happy to find a spot in my home office for my new lantern. I threw some LED candles in there to make sure that there wasn't a fire hazard and I really love how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching Home Talk, and I will see you next time. Bye.